Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So today I'm going to do a slightly different video and this is a video that I don't normally do and I'll tell you why. I've now been doing this YouTube journey of fountain pen reviews for just over a year now. I started in the end of March 2018. It's now May 2019, so it's just over a year, and I've been wanting to do this video for a couple of months now, but a couple of the pieces of the puzzle were not complete. So I wanted to do a number of things on this video. I wanted to really go over what I've done in the last year, what I'm doing now, and what I'm looking to do in the future. So just over a year ago, I started this adventure on YouTube. Prior to that, a year or more prior, on Instagram, I had been posting photos of my fountain pens in my collection, and I had been noticed by a lot of you, including other people in the pen community like Brian Goulet. I'd been chatting with Brian quite regularly, and others, and it was suggested that maybe I should look to do some kind of pen review, whether or not it's a blog, whether or not it's a video review, to try and give something back to the community. And I've done blogging before. It is quite intensive, quite hard to, to do. There's a lot of writing. I hadn't done video reviews before, but equally I knew that it was going to be, if not harder, to try and do. And I decided that I would do a couple of Instagram Live videos, which I did, and I had a lot of people watching them. And I didn't think I would, because the Instagram Live videos only stick around for 48 hours. I was actually surprised, and I actually liked doing it. I, what I didn't like is the portrait style of the video, because you can't easily upload it to YouTube, because it looks horrible in portrait mode, versus what you would be used to in, in a landscape mode on YouTube. But I decided that I would run an Instagram poll and see how many of my Instagram followers would like to see me doing pen review videos. And I thought probably only 20% would come back and say, yes, we'd like to see it. And that would be my nice and easy way of backing out gracefully and saying, you know what, only 20% of you wanted to see videos from me. And I gave it my best shot. A couple of days later, I looked at my poll stats on Instagram and 99% of you said that you wanted to see more videos from me. So that was a turning point in this journey. So after about 48 hours of trying to work out whether or not I was going to do this, how I was even going to do this, I decided to give it a, a try for a month. And I created, I believe it was around about seven videos. And at the end of the month, I would see if I liked it and if I would continue doing it. I did like it and I wanted to continue doing it. So I decided at that point, I should probably actually get more videos in backlog so I decided at that point I would try and aim for around 30 videos and I would see how I do at the end of the three month period at the end of the three months I still continue to enjoy doing it and I'd actually accumulated a backlog of about 50 videos that I had recorded at that point I decided I would still continue doing it and I would review it at the end of 2019 and I like the idea of having a backlog of videos because there are weeks where you cannot sit down or do not want to sit down and record videos. I am also a person that can burn out very quickly if I do too much of one thing. So some weeks I will go in and record six, eight or even ten videos in a week. And then I won't want to record any videos for the next week or two. So having a backlog for me was important to keep this journey fun. I'm not one that can just sit down and record a video in a week, edit it, and then release it in that week or even on that day. So for me, having a backlog of videos was key to continuing doing these videos. So I had already a backlog of about 50 videos, and then it got towards the end of 2018. I've been doing a lot of other videos as well, not just pen reviews. So I started doing pen club videos, pen show videos with my first London pen show in October 2018. Uh, I started doing Currently Inked, started doing top 10 videos, started doing other 
videos, special videos around the Christmas period. And I decided to continue doing it. I don't see me stopping anytime soon making these videos. And I still have a backlog of around 50 videos that I have already recorded, mostly edited, ready to release. So that's really where I'm at currently as of May 2019. Uh, I know a lot of you have been asking for me to do reviews of pens I do not have in my collection. And that's something that I've also been trying to achieve with manufacturers and retailers in 2019. I've had a lot of reviews coming out from retailers, from manufacturers, and I hope you like those pen videos too. So that's where I'm at now as of May 2019. And I just wanted to really give you a few stats from my videos because for me, these stats are staggering. So in the last year, you all that watch my videos have watched my videos over 150,000 times, which to me is completely staggering. And that's something that I hadn't ever considered would happen. Now, I have over 1,500 people subscribed to the channel already, which again is a staggering figure for me. But what is even more staggering is the watch time minutes. So the amount of minutes you have all watched my videos. You have watched over 1 million minutes of my videos, which is absolutely staggering for me. And not only that, it's the likes and the comments as well. In terms of likes, 95% of you that watch my videos like and only 5% dislike. So that tells me a lot, along with all of the comments that you send me on each and every video on how you like the video and how you interact with me on those videos. And this is why I keep doing these videos. If most of you just liked my videos or or stopped watching my videos, then I wouldn't do these videos. But because you like them, you comment on them, and you watch them, and you enjoy watching them, and I enjoy creating them, it's something I'm still going to continue to do for the future. Now, I have started out releasing one video a week consistently. I moved it to two videos a week towards the end of 2018 and in 2019 I'm releasing three videos a week. My schedule UK time is usually early morning on a Monday, on a Wednesday and on a Saturday. Sometimes that schedule may change but that's normally when I aim to release those videos and I want to continue trying my best to release at least two if not three videos a week. There may be more videos a week around pen clubs, pen shows and, and, and other events. But I see a lot more going forward in 2019 that I want to do on videos. And, and I have a number of different series I'm planning on doing of videos and I hope that you'll like those too. I'm not going to tell you what they are now. Now the other thing also is that people have been asking me how they can best support me. Now, clearly the best way is to like, comment and subscribe. Now, you might find it strange to hear, but 65% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed or maybe they're subscribed but not logged into YouTube. So if you're watching these videos and you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. It helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithms, likewise liking and commenting on the videos because it gets my videos out to more people under recommended videos that may not have seen my videos in the past. Also share the videos with other friends that you know of in the community that you think might actually like to watch the videos as well. But I've received at least half a dozen requests this year on how you can support me more. Now, I'm not asking for money from you. And clearly, I can afford a lot of these Grail pens. There are a lot more costs involved into making these videos. The camera equipment, the lighting, getting pens in for review and having to ship them back at my cost to retailers. And some of these are internationally, so shipping costs can get quite high. 
going to pen clubs, pen shows, there are all added expenses. Now, I take those expenses myself, and I don't expect anybody to pay for those other than myself. And likewise, the pens that I buy and review are pens that I want to buy. But those, a lot of these pens are still quite expensive. But a number of you have been asking me how extra you can support me. And a number of you have suggested Patreon or PayPal. So although I'm not one to ask for money, I decided because some of you have been asking for it that I would set these up. Now, you don't have to donate any money to me. Watching these videos, liking, commenting and subscribing really helps me a lot. However, if you want to go that extra mile and provide a little bit more support, then you can send me a one-off PayPal if that's what you want to do. I have set up a Patreon page as well, and you can see it here on my website. It's at penultimatedave.com. I've put a link up near the top here where you can click, and it will then take you to this page on how you can support me. And I have set up a Patreon account. And the Patreon account is at patreon.com slash penultimate Dave. There are a couple of plans that I've added. There's a $5 plan and a $10 plan. If you want to donate on a regular basis, you can do it there. The great thing about Patreon is you can say, I want to donate $5 per video created. Now, clearly I create between 8 and 12 videos a month. That's a lot of money for anyone to pay out. I'm not expecting that. I'm not asking for that. You can set a limit. So you can say, I agree to donate $5 or $10 a month, but I want to cap it at $10 or $15 or however much you want to cap it at. So that's the great thing about Patreon. But one thing I have decided is that if you are going to go that extra mile to help me out and donate money regularly, then I want to give something back to you as well. So there are a number of things that I am giving to Patreon subscribers if you choose to subscribe to Patreon. So as I mentioned, there are two tiers. The $5 tier will give you private Patreon news and updates from me, behind the scenes photos, access to high resolution photos of my pens that I post on Instagram. These will be very high resolution. You'll be able to use as desktop wallpapers if you want to. And also access to all of my latest videos on Patreon first. And I aim to release those videos at least three days in advance on Patreon. It will probably be up to a week in advance. So you'll get to see the videos quicker there than on YouTube. The $10 plan will basically provide all of that, as well as an invite to my private Discord chat server, where you can ask me questions in real time and get answers if you're looking to purchase a particular pen or need a timely answer and email is too short, you'll be able to ask me questions there. And also the ability to have the first option to buy any of the pens that I'm looking to sell online. So Patreon subscribers will have effectively first dibs on any of my pens and then I will announce them on other channels as well. And I suspect I will look to do other benefits for Patreon uh, as the year moves forward. I'd like to do giveaways. I have to be careful with giveaways because a lot of the giveaways will be international shipping, plus there's the cost in buying items, but I would like to do giveaways. I will probably also do some smaller giveaways on my YouTube channel as well, but there will be bigger giveaways on my Patreon channel. And where possible, I will try and add in other benefits as well through the year. So that way then, anybody that wants to go that extra mile and donate money to me will get a lot more value back from me. I'm still going to continue releasing my videos on YouTube. They're still going to be free. You don't have to subscribe to me on Patreon, but if you want to, then you can do. So as I mentioned, moving forward, throughout the rest of 2019. I have a lot of videos 
coming up, scheduled for release, planned new series of videos that I hope you like. I'd like to hear back from you all as well in terms of what videos you like the best, whether or not it's pen review videos, pen club videos, pen show videos, my currently ink videos, my top 10 pen videos. What do you want to see more of from me? Because that's something I would like to know so that I can try and provide more of those videos that you like to watch. So that's really the update from me a year into this YouTube journey. I don't envisage stopping anytime soon. You can always support me for free by liking and commenting on the videos and subscribing to this channel. But if you want to go that extra mile, there is PayPal and also Patreon as well, if that's what you want to do. So I think this last year has been a really good journey for me. I hope the next year will be just as good, if not better and i hope you will all enjoy the videos that i continue to produce on doing these fountain pen review videos so thanks for watching thanks for all your support please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next pen video bye bye <laughs>